so education and especially study abroad these days i would say is getting expensive day by day right so whatever we do we have to like make our choices very carefully like we have to choose the country carefully we have to be uh, uh, very cautious about what is the degree program i'm going to go like is it going to give me the future prospects i'm looking for or not thirdly we have to be careful about the universities we are applying to we don't want to end up with uh, shitty or or unsafe universities that will make it difficult for us to study abroad so now in a previous video i've already talked about 10 to 11 universities which although they are popular which are highly ranked also but i don't i i see some like you know some some points of concern with them so i i shared that list with you i'm i'm going to leave the link in the description box as well uh, but today i want to talk about the ms um, majors or degree programs which i think are not really worth it in 2025 like you know for for different reasons uh, like these ms programs or majors are not giving as good roi that we want so if you are planning to apply for them in ms i would say rethink so this is again list from my side some insider information that i'm trying to share with you hope it will help you make some better decisions as well by the way for each of those programs if possible i will also try to suggest a alternate degree major that you can look at so yes uh, uh, all this on the other side of the intro i hope it will be useful to you so welcome back to the channel guys and today is all about the bad ms programs or or the degree majors or subjects that i think or i'm not recommending at all not to my clients and i want to share that information with you guys as well because i feel that these programs are not giving a good roi especially in 2025 so um, yeah these are my two cents go through the list see if it makes sense for you and and if it does then tweak your career plans or uh, ms plans accordingly so in general i'm a very pro masters person but some of the degree programs i don't think are are worth it so what are those programs so i will talk about two lists here the first list is the list of the majors that i don't think in general have enough jobs right so if you graduate from them you are going to have a tough time finding a job not a good situation so why spend on an education where where the jobs become a question mark right and second list i want to talk about is ms programs or majors that are not work visa friendly this is very important when you are going to study abroad you are dependent on finding the work visa or you want to find a employer who's ready to sponsor your visa so if these programs are not work visa friendly then again you will be out of job and you will end up frustrated and i don't want that so let me share uh, these two lists with you please look that look at this with a grain of salt you may or may not agree with uh, with it but yeah share all those things with me in the comments for now let's get started so let's first start with majors that don't have enough jobs studying in us is expensive and not all majors deliver value for the tuition we are paying so here are a few that i don't recommend first is very niche courses like sports management i feel sports management is a very specialized field with limited opportunities especially for international students average tuition here is around 30 to 50000 dollars per year but entry level salaries will be only around maybe 40 to 50000 per year so making the roi quite low so i I think it's better to focus on broader degrees like business administration which is mba route with a focus on sports marketing or analytics maybe second field here is psychology i know it's a popular field but it has several challenges for international students firstly many ms courses are non stem which means only one year of opt secondly many roles in clinical or all or counseling psychology require a phd or a doctorate degree to practice independently now the average tuition fee i would say is around 30 to 60000 dollars per year for masters entry level salaries will range maybe 45 to 60000 per year so the roi is again low unless you pursue further education moreover roles in counseling are deeply tied to cultural nuances which i think makes it hard for internationals to secure jobs without local expertise i think a better alternative is you go into behavioral data science or industrial organizational psychology which offer better job prospects and stem benefits thirdly business analyst programs now i know the demand for business analyst is shrinking as automation and ai tools are taking over data processing rules average tuition fee is 35 to 50000 per year but entry level salaries will be i don't think more than 60000 per year so it's not great considering the investment so 
Alternatively, I think you can look into program like data analytics or product management for a broader skill set and better opportunities. Next program that I don't like is Masters in Management or MIM programs. Now, MIM programs are often marketed as an alternate to MBA, but they rarely offer the same value. Many universities treat them as cash cow programs, in my opinion, for fresh grads with little experience. And the average tuition fee is fifty to seventy thousand dollars per year. But I think average salaries hover only around sixty thousand per year. So, if you're a business or commerce student, I would say consider MS in accounting. or finance stem students can opt for engineering management which i feel as much better roi and visa prospects next major is business analytics i know i'm going to get some negative comments on this one but this field i feel is becoming oversaturated in recent years while it used to be a hot trend the market is now flooded with analytics graduates which makes it harder to stand out tuition fee that you're paying for this is around 40 to 60000 dollars per year but entry level salaries would be around 65 to even let's say 80000 per year so they are not very low but i think there is just lot of competition for the similar role so it's going to be much much harder to find a job a better alternative could be data science which offers a more robust skill set and wider job opportunities lastly i would say avoid any non stem humanities arts or hospitality courses do i need to even mention this uh, because i've always said that non stem degrees just don't make sense in current environment there are no jobs in there especially for internationals so if you have interest in these sectors sure go ahead pursue them as a hobby or do a online coursework for it please don't invest money in a full time masters degree unless you have enough family financial cushion lastly i would say jobs that can be automated easily should be avoided which includes qa testing documentation roles or basic designing work even super official coding or web development work data entry etc none of them are going to survive in next 3 years so avoid any courses where you are targeting these kind of roles now before we move on please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow us on instagram where we are sh sharing daily job hunt and internship and h1b tips and if you like this video please do hit the like button it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm now i want to move on to the second topic for today which are majors that are not work visa friendly so these majors are not bad but they will just like you know you will have a harder time finding a job in these areas which actually sponsor a h1b visa so i think you don't want to waste your energy in these and uh, the first one i would pick here is a human resources or hr role firstly average entry level salary itself is low right around 50000 dollars per year now secondly hr roles require deep cultural knowledge strong interpersonal skills and fluency in local labor laws so this makes it tough for international students to succeed companies rarely sponsor visa for hr roles as they prefer candidates with local expertise so but if you're interested in hr a alternative course for you can be hr analytics or organizational behavior which focus more on data and less on people facing roles second role i would avoid is marketing again uh, traditional marketing and customer facing roles rely heavily on local market knowledge and cultural fluency so international students often struggle to connect with local audiences in the same way as a domestic candidate would right although the average entry level salary would be 55 to 60000 dollars per year maybe but it's just going to be much harder to find those jobs so alternate courses that you can do here is maybe you can consider digital marketing seo marketing analytics which are more data oriented and less culture dependent thirdly you should avoid any sort of it itar courses and uh, so what is itar itar is like you know technology regulated fields uh, which require us citizenship or security clearance which makes them most inaccessible to international students so even internship in these fields can be off limits this is why spacex doesn't sponsor h1b visa for many roles because they can't they come under itar regulation so broadly the fields that are included in itar jobs include defense cyber security aerospace government space tech etc although it's a very exciting writing field uh, even entry level salaries are high but you will never get a job unless you have us citizenship we have made a 
full video on this so check it out if you are interested or affected by any of these fields i'm leaving the link in the description box below or the alternate here can be you can go for private sector cyber security aerospace robotics or ai roles where such restrictions don't apply again check out the video for more details then um, i'm going to point out another field which is supply chain management now this is a bit controversial because i know many people are going for these roles i'm just pointing out the fact that salaries are on slightly lower side here so some roles may find it hard to meet the h1b salary thresholds and again i think there is a little saturation coming in this field as well while there are jobs in this field many roles will fail to meet the h1b visa salary threshold which will make it hard for international students like you to secure sponsorship alternate here can be industrial engineering with a focus on operations which offers better pay and visa friendly opportunities and lastly i would say i avoid any kind of social work or counseling related major uh, where the average entry level salary is just 35 to 50 thousand dollars per year so roi is pretty bad secondly these fields are deeply rooted in local laws and cultural context so they also require certifications that are time consuming and costly to obtain in general i don't like going for courses focused for non profits even in mba avoid these specialization i don't think they are worth it you will just end up underpaid and frustrated so that was a bunch of majors i don't recommend for international or indian students in us in 2025 if you're looking for any of these check out the alternate courses that i have mentioned if you have more queries feel free to post them in the comments i'll try my best to answer those have i missed any field or major that should have been listed in this video let me know in the comments so that's it from my side i hope everything is going well with you guys keep me posted on your progress and i will see you next sunday with a fresh new video until then take care bye bye